The following is a production of Learfield Sports. A minute 10 to go. Six to shoot. Brandon one on one. Top of the key for three. And he got it. He got it. He got it. The Illini come to Spokane. Looking to inbound. Gets it to Griffey. Lay up. No! Fighting Illini Insider is brought to you by Fighting Illini Energy, the official electricity choice of Illini Nation. The Illini Card, the official credit card of the University of Illinois. Hi everybody, welcome to Champagne Inside our studios as we join you for Fighting Illini Insider. I'm your host this week, Brian Barnhart, who will talk Illini men's basketball. And we're going to specifically look at the toughness and togetherness series you've been seeing throughout the year. We'll do that in just a little bit and take a look back at the Illinois games against Purdue and Northwestern. Great to have you with us. Brian Barnard joined by assistant coach Dustin Ford. And coach, uh, what a week you've had here the last 10 days in particular with the four wins, but uh, two impressive wins over Purdue and Northwestern, two teams that beat you earlier this year. Yeah, you know, Brian, which that's always a good sign. It's always a barometer of how you can tell if your team's getting better. We had two teams that beat us, as you stated, Purdue and Northwestern, and beat us fairly handily in both games, to be honest. Double-figure leads at certain times for Purdue, I think, late in that game over in uh, at Purdue, and then Northwestern did it to us at home. And uh, our guys knew that. Our guys responded. I think we're getting better. We're taking the right steps to become a good basketball team, but we've got a lot of work to do. we still got some holes we need to clean up. I know you guys as a staff and Coach Gross emphasize defense, and that has really been coming on strong the last couple of games especially. Yeah, I think guys are trusting each other, and I think if you listen to our guys a little bit, I think our communication is getting better as a whole amongst the entire team, not only the bench, but on the floor our guys are talking, communicating, and when you do those things defensively, you can cover up errors. And now you add our guys are playing hard with that, and we're able to get some stops and do some good things defensively right now. And two guys that are playing particularly well, and they're all, I think, as a team, everybody's playing better, but D.J. Richardson has just been outstanding the last month. And then Tracy Abrams at point guard has really begun to do some really good things that you need done in this offense. No question. Tracy's decision making has gotten really good. His pace, I think, if you watch him, his pace has gotten better. He's coming off ball screens with more pace. He's pushing the ball with more pace. And he, he's using his brakes, as I would say, a little bit better, as opposed to going 100 miles per hour the whole time. He's hitting those brakes, starting and stopping, and making some good plays. And obviously, DJ's been a solid force all year. He's defended the other team's best player night in and night out. He's made shots, he's led our team. He, he, he's been so valuable to what we've done all year. It's, you know, he's been fantastic for us. Real quick, Dustin, before we wrap it up, uh, Penn State comes in winless in the conference so far, but they battled Michigan this last Sunday and kind of always a team that plays hard under under Coach Chambers. Yeah, no question. I mean, you, you go back to even, I think it was, I think, I don't know if it was Thursday night, they played Iowa, you know, and had chances against Iowa. Then they go to Michigan and they compete. They're going to come in here and cut loose and play hard. They're thirsty to get their first league win, and our guys need to understand that, and our guys need to be ready to go. All right, Dustin, we'll look forward to that game this week and then at Michigan uh, next weekend, so thanks for coming by. No question. Assistant Coach Dustin Ford with us here on this edition of Fighting Illini Insider. Let's take a look now back at the Illinois wins over Purdue and Northwestern, both of them by 20 points roughly in that vicinity, and impressive wins for the Illini. We'll take a look at those. And then, of course, the toughness and togetherness series up next on Fighting Illini Insider. Left wing, gets a pick from Egwu. Top of the key, lob, Egwu with a slam! On a pass from Tracy Abrams. Egwu with four. Right wing to Roan Johnson. In the lane, had it stripped away and stolen by Griffey. Abrams gets the loose ball. Pass to Griffey, and a big guy hammers it home. He's it out top to DJ. Back to Henry. Puts it on the